When I pictured our van life journey, my mind automatically went to summer. Full of sunshine, bikinis, barbecues and beaches. But van life does not have to be seasonal. On our year-long trip, we encounter the winter months. Yes, as autumn's colour has faded and fallen, winter is upon us. And so today we're going to share with you our top tips on keeping warm in our van. The first thing we need to talk about is insulation. In the early days of converting your camper, you need to pay attention to how you insulate your van efficiently. We're not going to dive into the details of how best to do it because you'll not find one person who agrees. It's a much debated topic, so we just recommend you do your own research. If you want to know more about how we did it, there's plenty of information on our blog and we've got a video on it as well. We are happy with the installation we did, but as Meg said, it's a very important step for both winter and summertime. So do not neglect it. Yeah, I think this is one of the biggest things that you need to consider when planning your camper conversion. Yep, there's no point in heating your van up lovely for it all to just escape. Insulate well at the start. The majority of camper vans and motorhome travellers will be heading south for the winter months. That's where you get the best bet for better temperatures. Places include Portugal, Spain, southern Italy and Greece. We are currently heading south too to avoid the harsher climates. However, we can afford to take it a bit slower and that is due to our diesel heater. So we went for a two kilowatt planar auto term diesel heater and it's been fantastic. It is worth its weight in gold and we put it at the top of the list, I think. It's the most important thing to allow us to enjoy places like this. It keeps us warm and toasty. Uh, we've done a very in-depth video on it on our YouTube channel and we've got a blog as well with all the information there if you want to check those out. We highly recommend playing our auto term and we wouldn't hesitate to put one in our next van or whatever we buy next. It's been an absolute lifesaver. Both our windscreen cover and our blind have thermal properties, keeping the frost from off the windows in the morning and keeping the heat in. We also try and park in the sun whenever we get the chance. So one obvious point might be to remember to pack your outdoor gear. That includes hats, gloves, coats, walking boots, scarves and buffs. Living in a relatively confined space such as our van, it's important that we get out as often as we can to get some fresh air and that usually means going on a walk. However, the weather isn't always going to be on your side. Yeah, we always try not to get wet as it is a pain in the butt to try and dry all your clothes and coats. From now on, until it gets a little bit warmer, I probably shall be living in this attire. Lots of layers, a buff and a hat. I, I don't like being cold, so this is what I'll be like for the next few weeks probably. So in the same vein, remember that you need to pack clothing that can be layered together to make you nice, warm and toasty. Things like thermals and fleeces. And it's also worth remembering that spending a little bit more on clothes is sometimes worth it, especially shoes. Yeah. You know, we've only got a couple of pairs each and we can't really afford for them to break on the road. So it's always worth spending a little bit more upfront for good quality gear that's going to last and protect you. And remember to bring plenty of pairs of thick, warm socks. Having a belly full of warm food will keep the cold at bay and keep your calorie intake high. Having simple meals that don't take a huge amount of time to cook will also help you conserve gas, as well as not let too much wet heat enter the atmosphere of the van. That makes for less condensation too. A few favourites of the Novice Explorers are noodles, spaghetti, any pasta dish really, scrambled egg and soup. Another top tip that we've actually learned on the road is to conserve your freshly boiled hot water. Any that's left over from the kettle from making hot drinks is stored in a thermos flask and used again on more hot drinks, washing up or for cooking with later on. Again, this is helping us conserve our gas and also not allowing too much wet heat to enter the van again. Less condensation. 
A while ago now, me and Cal invested in a really good quality sleeping bag. It's a double that can be zipped out into a huge duvet, or it can be zipped together to conserve heat. And it can also be zipped apart, so it makes two separate sleeping bags if required. Now this has been really handy because it means that we haven't had to carry extra bedding to keep us warm, which in a small van like ours is prime. Space is at a premium in the van, so having just one sleeping bag is perfect. Yeah, we do have one extra blanket if we do need it, but we haven't found the need. Combining long sleeve pyjamas with our fantastic sleeping bag, we are cosy pretty much 100% of the time. So this brings us to our very last point. It's important to make a nice, comfortable and warm atmosphere inside your van. I know it sounds daft, but lighting candles and turning on your fairy lights can make a great difference in the way the van feels inside. Have you ever heard of the Norwegian or Danish word hygge? Most evenings we settle down, have tea and put something on the laptop, whether it be a film or TV series, put on the lights and just chill out and you soon forget where you are. Happy? Yeah. Hygge. <laughs> Hygge. Hygge. So there's just a few tips on how we keep nice, warm, snuggly and cosy in our flora. We must admit we do prefer adventuring in the summer. But there's a certain beauty of winter that we're drawn to too, but we have to be prepared for it. And this has been our first winter, so it's been very much a steep learning curve. So if you've got any recommendations or top tips, please leave them down in the comment box below. If there's anything we've missed, yeah, because there's definitely going to be. Like, subscribe and share. And press the little bell button down below to get notified each time we upload a new video. Any more information will be found at our blog. Link is down below at www.campcomforts.co.uk. And as for now, we're going to go back in the van, wrap up, and enjoy our evening. See you the next one. Four, three, two, one. You ready? Yeah. There's me starting. I thought that's what we were saying as the other yeah. bit's voiceover. Christ three, on the mic. Three, two, one. So there's just a few tips. So there's just a few tips. So there's just a few tips that we use to keep warm, snuggly, and cosy. Wait for that car. Probably think I'm some sort of speed camera on the side of the road. <laughs> Clocks you, mate, going too fast. Put in. Heading south is on our agenda. <clears throat> Heading south is on our hour. <laughs> Heading south is on our agenda too. However, we don't have to rush. No, what was it? Heading south is not next on our list. Number one. <clears throat> no. The first thing we should. <clears throat> so we definitely recommend. <clears throat> so we definitely. So we can. So we confidently. <laughs> So that brings us to our very last point, which is to make a nice comfort in <laughs> three, two, one. Heading south is not. We are currently heading south, <laughs> but as long as we're prepared. <clears throat> Shall I go from the top? <laughs> yeah, that's that. <laughs> I know it sounds daft, but lighting candles and lighting your. <clears throat> I know it sounds daft, but putting on candles and lighting up the. F I know it sounds daft, but is that one take wonder? I think so, <laughs> that'll do. I think that was quite good. Yeah. Very good. If, if only it was all that easy. <laughs> <laughs>